Bubblegum here. So what I'm going to be doing today is we're going to be talking about this new elf, elf <laughs> brow stuff that I got in the medium brown for my eyebrows. So first things first is I'm going to brush out my eyebrows, kind of get them all in the right direction where they're supposed to be, sort of. Okay, then we're going to take the brow stuff, um, this is my first time using this stuff, um, mine was like broken in three pieces, I don't know if that's normal, but I used it on my brows yesterday, so I guess it's technically my second time using it, just, I'm taking just like a eyeliner brush. Just gonna kind of fall along the shape of my eyebrow underneath. It's a lot drier than I thought it would be. Oh, it's so dark. I'm used to just kind of putting like this clear or the slightly colored gel stuff with a little bit of powder for my eyebrows. So I'm just going to kind of comb this in and out. I don't really want it to be too far past my natural hair to where I'm going to look crazy off camera in person. My Jeebus. So it definitely makes a big difference. Like, so they're like way darker and more filled in. I feel like it takes just about as much time as the way I normally do my brows. It's, I do it, spend a lot of time brushing them out. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of concealer. I'm using a, this little wet and wild stick with a concealer brush. I'm just going to kind of clean it up a bit. Clearly making as many faces and shapes with your eyebrow really helps. Bam. My nice beautiful eyebrow. Okay. So it wasn't all that difficult to use. And it's not coming off on my finger, which you know what is very, very good thing. I'm rubbing them pretty hard. It seems to dry pretty quickly and pretty well. I'm, I'm really digging it. So you might see my eyebrows being a little more dramatic, but I like it. And so I'd definitely give it like a four out of five stars just because I was kind of disappointed that it's broken. And considering it's already kind of a little dry, I'm worried that it's gonna dry out before I can actually fully use it. Um, so we'll see, because it's supposed to be an eyeliner and a brow cream, lock on liner and brow cream. So I wouldn't trust using it as an eyeliner just because it's so dry. It's kind of ashy, like, like it's even dry like for a cream eyeshadow. So I'd probably stick to only using it for brows, but I definitely use it again. I like it. It wasn't very expensive. I don't exactly remember how much it was, but I can tell you it's like under $10 for sure. 
I think I just picked it up at Old Navy, like, willy-nilly. Well, as always, I hope you guys liked my video. I hope it was very helpful, and have a great day, my beautiful people. And I'm probably gonna, I just saw my picture, it's very different. I'm probably gonna randomly switch out my paintings from time to time, just to kind of give my background a little bit of a difference. Um, and I have a lot of paintings that I've done, so... Okay, let me know if you like it, if you think I'm just wasting my time. Whatever. Have a great day, my beautiful people.